What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Kyle DePepe, today we're going to be looking at DeFi Kingdom. Uh, they originally launched on Harmony 1, but they have now launched on basically like an Avalanche custom chain, if that makes sense. So, the, the long story short, bear with me, is basically if you look at something like Ethereum, Harmony 1, Solana, Avalanche, all of those are like layer 1 chains that you can build a decentralized application on top of. And whenever you want to do a transaction on those chains, you would need the Ethereum token, the Solana token, the Harmony One token, or the AVAX token to pay those gas fees. With this DeFi Kingdom custom chain, you use the Jewel token to pay for gas fees, right? So typically, or I guess originally, um, if you're on Harmony Mainnet and go to DeFi Kingdoms, you would use the one token to approve transactions. Uh, so like I have Jewel on Harmony One, but Harmony One's like the native layer one token. On this new chain, Jewel is that layer one token. So either way, let's just jump right to it. Sorry if that was boring. Not financial advice, Jewel could go to zero, could get hacked, protocol risk, all that jazz, you, you know the drill. Either way, uh, jump to the screen. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the docs. You can see I have 10.5 Jewel here, just, just to uh, show you guys about $117. So we go to the docs. And here we go, the Doc Master. All right, so when you go here, Crystal Veil, vale. this is the new chain, if you want to call it that. So if you click travel to Crystal Veil, vale, it will add the DeFi Kingdom chain to your MetaMask wallet. So if you if I go to MetaMask right now, you can see, whenever I do a screen recording, it lags a lot. I'm on Harmony Mainnet. So if I go here, you can see the DFK chain mainnet. So this is this is the actual like DeFi Kingdom custom chain. You can also see that there's an Avalanche mainnet, Arbitrum, Binance Smart Chain, Harmony One. So you can switch between these and add another network. But when you click this travel to Crystal Veil, you'll be able to add the DFK chain. All right. Once you have that done, you want to go to Bridge Tokens. And here you can see that this is basically the network, right? So we're on Harmony right now. You can see down here, Harmony mainnet. Um, and we want to go to DeFi Kingdoms, not the Avalanche C chain. So by doing DeFi Kingdom, we're just sending Jewel and we're getting Jewel on the other one. So here I'm going to put in 10. It's going to give me 9.95 Jewel. There's a fee of 0.05 and we're going to click Approve Bridge. It should do a MetaMask notification. Scroll down, click Confirm. And then this part might take a while. I'm not entirely sure. I know yesterday when this first launched, the site was pretty laggy for me and even the bridging just wasn't working. So I just kind of gave up eventually. Here we go. Uh, should we click bridge again? That's interesting. Let's try it one more time. Uh, there we go. So now we have one pending. All right. You can see the little pending at the top. Um, but it looks like it's going much faster today. I'm sure that's because everybody's always racing, racing to get there first because when you're first, you're not last. Now, I'm just kidding. when you're first, you get the highest APY. So for example, as you can see, my jewel balance just went down to 0.5 um, on the Harmony One chain. Swap and redeem successful. So at this point, in theory, I should be able to go to MetaMask and I should be able to switch my network to DFK chain mainnet. And you can see the page reload. So the page is looking at what uh, 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 main net you're on. So in this case, now I'm on DFK chain. And you can see that over here, it's crystal. So Jewel is sort of like the token you use for gas, but the main token here is crystal. So we're going to go ahead and actually just get rid of that bridge endpoint and just go to game.defi kingdoms. This should allow us to see the marketplace and those other things so we can swap some tokens now. So you can see that this, uh, the appearance is very different. It's like a snowy setting and you still have the docks down here. But what we wanna do is we wanna go to the marketplace. Actually, before we do that, let's just check out what the APYs are. So the, uh, the, the gardens, right? Yield farming, you go to the gardens. So the, the gardens. Um, and here we want to look at harvest maybe. See, this is the problem. So, uh, okay, cool. Uh, Helga Frost Thumb. Okay, don't know what that is. Seed box. Here we go. 3,933% for X Jewel Jewel. Um, 
Is this the only thing right now? Emission rate, 16 crystal a second. So basically, you need to make sure you have X jewel jewel as the pair, and then you'll get crystal tokens out of that. Or you could just buy crystal. So uh, obviously, there's two different paths you could take here. You can bank on people getting crystal or buying crystal, and the price goes up because of that. Or you could put some X jewel jewel that LP pair into here, deposit it, and then you get crystal as the emission. Um, so those are kind of the two routes. Right now, 3,932% is the emissions APR. As you can see, there's an asterisk. So, um, you know, it gives you a little thing down here. But um, that's effectively how you um, bridge your tokens over to this. Um, and then right now, for example, if I want to buy crystal, we would go back to the marketplace. Marketplace. I think you want to go to the trader. Um, and this is where you can swap between. So like, for example, I can go from jewel to crystal. Um, and I can say, okay, I want to send one jewel and it would give me 0.38 crystal. Um, as you can see, it gives you that exchange rate right there. Um, you can also just plug in 50% max, whatever you want to do. So I think what we're actually going to do, we're going to create a jewel to X jewel um, right here. And by doing this, I can click 50%. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me that 50-50 ratio that I need for the LP tokens. So now what I'm going to do is it's going to exchange 3.9 Joule tokens to 2.3 Joule. We're going to click swap, confirm swap. We'll wait for this to happen. Good stuff right here. Uh, we're going to scroll down, hit confirm. We can add X jewel to MetaMask. That way we can see the token appear in our wallet. That's just like, you know, add that token. That's all you have to click. We're good to go. So now we can close this. Uh, looks like it swapped efficiently. So now we want to go to the Druid, Droid, whatever they're called. Um, we want to buy seeds. Um, so we're going to, there's two inputs. You can see they're both inputs. So we have jewel. Or actually, let's change this to X jewel. And this will be jewel. And we can basically say, like, I want to do max X jewel. And it automatically does the exact same or like dollar equivalent amount of jewel. And then we can say approve. You can see what the jewel per X jewel is, the X jewel per jewel, all that jazz. Um, so we're going to scroll down, hit confirm yet again. It's a lot of confirmations. You know how it is. Um, and then after this approves, we should be able to hit supply. Go back to the world map. Let's go back to the gardens. I'm pretty sure it didn't do a step. There might be some bugs currently, but who knows? Up oh, here we are. So let's click deposit. I don't know. Let's see if this will work. Okay, so this automatically brings up this, so you don't have to go all the way to the druid. But I can hit supply now. Confirm supply. And we can hit confirm. I like to sometimes do a little, uh, oh, add Crystal LP to MetaMask, fantastic. We're gonna add that as well. Add token, and just like that, this should update shortly. You can see, oh, here we go, deposit crystal LP. Okay, so we created the LP tokens, and now we can deposit all of them. So we're depositing all of these. We can approve this. You basically just click the buttons, and it does it. <laughs> I know, kind of overly simplified. However, X jewel, jewel, crystal, all of these things could be worthless in a day, in an hour in a year from now. So uh, it's all relative. I pretty much do this stuff just for fun. As you can see, I'm doing this with like a hundred bucks right now. So it's not a ton, but there's decent upside. So it's like, I might as well with the full expectation that I might lose all of this, you know, a hundred dollars or whatever. So um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, if it was, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave any comments down below if you have questions or whatever. Um, or if you wanna see other videos, this is just a very basic like bridging and create LP tokens that you can deposit. So once these, there we go, now we can click deposit. We're depositing the liquidity. It's a lot of steps, right? You gotta, you gotta bridge over, then you have to convert Joule to X Joule, then you gotta create the LP pair, then you gotta 
uh, create the, like the actual tokens that you go to deposit. You have to approve and then confirm and all that stuff. So it's just a lot of steps. But once you're done, you're done. And then you just just let it sit there. Perfect. As you can see, our deposits, three crystal LP by X jewel, whatever, um, unclaimed crystal harvest. As you can see, unlocked and locked. This is probably going to be similar to something like Viper Exchange, where like 95% of the rewards are locked for like a year. If that's the case, well, you may not end up making much, if anything, at all. But, yep, you can see it's slowly starting to accrue now. Obviously, you can claim and withdraw. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, guys.